Okay, we're going to define the altitude line here of a triangle. So the altitude line of a triangle, uh, every triangle has three different altitude lines. So let's say we have triangle A, B, and C here. Uh, out, the altitude line goes from, in this case here, altitude line A would go from vertice A to the opposite side at 90 degrees. Unlike the median line, it does not have to cross through the midpoint. Likewise, altitude line B is going to go from vertice B to the opposite side at 90 degrees. And lastly, altitude line C is going to go from vertice C to the opposite side at 90 degrees. Okay, so every triangle has three different altitude lines. Where these two altitude lines cross, uh, we, again, we have a special point, and uh, that'll be linked at the end. You can uh, talk about, it's called the ortho center, and we'll talk about that in more detail in another video. But for now, we're focused on the idea of altitude lines. Every triangle has three altitude lines, and here are the three altitude lines. Okay. Essentially, the altitude line is the height of your triangle. So for this question here, we want to we wanna actually calculate an altitude line. So let's go ahead and, like we've always talked about here, draw yourself a Cartesian plane. And uh, what we want to do now is we want to get a rough sketch of where these points are at. So I have point 0.28. Maybe that's right about here. I have the point 6 and 2. Let's put E right there. And then point F is negative 3 and 2. So it's actually the same height as um, the other one here. Okay, so let's go ahead and connect these together here. So boom, boom, and boom. These are now all connected. Okay, uh, the question wants me to calculate the altitude of line D. So that's going to go from vertice D to the opposite side at 90 degrees. And I want to talk about how do you go about calculating the equation of this altitude line. Okay, well, let's try to do that. So what do I know? If I need the equation of a line, the equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. So that means I'm going to need to calculate my slope and my y-intercept. Well, if I can calculate the slope of line segment Fe, I know the negative reciprocal will be the slope of my altitude line D. Well, the slope of Fe, let's take a look here. I'm going to label this x1, y1. I'll label this point x2, y2 in which case we get uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You actually end up getting 0 over and I get 0. So the slope of this line, as it appears to be, and we should have probably guessed that, it was a flat line to begin with. So yeah, the slope is 0. So therefore, the perpendicular slope, if you have a perfectly horizontal line, the perpendicular slope will be a perfectly vertical line, so that means it'll be undefined in this example. So the slope will be undefined. So what, when you have an undefined slope, what does that mean? Well, if you have an undefined slope, undefined slopes, uh, if you guys remember, are x equals 2 equations. right? If you have an undefined slope, it's going to be x equals 2. Well, x equals to what? So this vertical line here, it's a perfectly vertical line, and this vertical line is going to be x equals to what? Well, I have to look at what the actual points of this point d is. This is point 2 and 8. So that means that this line here is going to be x equals to 2. Okay? And again, if you're struggling with this idea of horizontal and vertical lines uh, from uh, previous years, I'll link a video up in the top right. You can take a look at what it means to be an x equals to 2 line versus like a y equals to 2 line. So in this case here, and this question was, became a little bit easier because of the way the triangle was drawn, uh, the equation of uh, altitude line D is x equals to 2. Okay, so let's take the exact same question, but now I want to calculate altitude line E. Okay, so altitude line E goes from vertice E to the opposite side at 90 degrees. So maybe somewhere right around here as a rough sketch. Okay, so I want to find the equation of this line here. So what do I know? Well, I know my line... The slope of my line, altitude line E, is perpendicular to line segment FD. Okay, so I'm going to calculate the slope of, of FD. So therefore, this will be x1, y1, and this will be x2, y2. Again, order doesn't matter. 
So if I calculate my slope here, I'm going to get 2 minus 8 over negative 3 minus 2 is negative 6 over negative 5 is 6 fifths. So the slope of line segment FD is 6 fifths. Now the slope that I want is perpendicular. So the perpendicular slope of FD is the negative reciprocal. So we flip it and change the sign. And now I have the slope of FD. So therefore my equation is y is negative 5 over 6x plus my y-intercept that I don't know. So to find my y-intercept, I need a point. I don't know where this altitude line is crossing this line segment, but I have this point here, E. I know the point E is 6 and 2. So I can sub that point into my equation, and I can solve for B. So in this case here, we get 2 equals negative 5 over 6 times 6 plus B. Cancellation. And then we get B equals 7. So there's our B value. So we can put this together here and get a final answer. Uh, the equation of altitude line E is Y equals negative 5 over 6X plus 7. So the equation of altitude line E is negative 5 over 6 plus 7. Now, uh, just a quick note here if you take a look. Uh, notice uh, the equation for altitude line D that we had done was very easy, and that was because it was a perfectly vertical line. And because we had a perfectly vertical line, the equation became fairly easy to solve, whereas this one here was a little more work. We had to actually find the slope and y-intercept, whereas line D did not have a slope. Okay, so this concludes uh, altitude lines here. Remember, the altitude line of your triangle is just the height of the triangle. All right? So... Um, <clears throat> Again, when we intersect those altitude lines, you have what's called your orthocenter, as we discussed. And uh, check out a video. I'll link it here. You can check out uh, working with the orthocenter. All right. Thank you.